I guess that's one way through. Can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate to have been one of the guards. There's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out.
Have you thought about what I've said? Well, maybe we won't have to. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? You didn't see. Those aliens were tearing through them like tissue paper. It'd be a miracle if any of them were alive. It saved us a hell of a lot of trouble. Well, we're kind of on the clock here. Just remember, when this all goes down, you better make the smart choice. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Been in a few slams yourself, I see. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Cell D03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. Drop point for the code to 
looks like they cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This sort of come in handy. All right, let's keep moving. Looks like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay. Or quick escapes, I bet. <laughs> Smart. Took long enough. Meet up on the intercom. I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. I knew it! Everyone said I was out of my mind! But something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right people for the job. Yup, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Dell. Is that madness? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Uh, yeah, sorry, Dell. You go right ahead. Okay. Now, all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock, and I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Yeah, sure, and I wish gold coins would start raining from the sky. Now, if wishing time is over, maybe you'd be kind enough to stop running your mouth and listen for a change. Okay, let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Yup, that's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. I, um, well, I'm 
wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. Cool. Cool. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I promise that you won't regret it. Now, let's get the heck out of here.
used to reading about you. So there I am. You see security on my tail and my grab card. Thank God Cora isn't here. God, who am I kidding? That girl probably love it here. She's crazy that way. Need something? you so long it's about time i was about to fly down and loot your bodies not now neighbor well you said you found something hand it over that's it just one slate after losing so much of our crew it better be a map with a big red x on it well i'll be damned Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a... Big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mio. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neighbor and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You'd better. Oh, before you leave. I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Hell of a job you did down there, Rook. Hell of a job.
Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. What? No, you gotta be crazy. All I'm gonna do is lay low for a while, pick up a few jobs from Voss, and maybe get drunk. <laughs> I appreciate that. And look, if you ever need anything, an extra gun or whatever, I got your back. I guess you can never have enough... friends? Lackeys. Backstabbing acquaintances. You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. This, this is their bar? Come in and shift to your joints. There you are. All right. I just expected a few I've been lining up a score with that there. asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. My friend's got a point, Bug. Every pirate in this joint comes to the Nova for a drink. Seems to me I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Wokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those gal bait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get jazzed to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? So if we want to see any juice at the end, we gotta play ball. Message received. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now. Get your ass to the siren, and bring me my goods. We'll talk later. Key, I cannot believe I'm here. I don't want to believe I'm here.
some work done? Sure, have at it. I'm sure you can find something you like. Sorry if you were hearing double there, and also sorry if I, you were getting no sound from me. Yeah, I may have goofed up there. Significantly. Um, at first I realised there was no sound coming from the microphone, so then I changed my microphone settings and I accidentally sent it to... <laughs> Um, the audio that's actually plugged into my sound, so you would have been getting double sound. But you should hear me now. Apologies there for anyone watching. There was an update to Windows yesterday and it's goofed up all my audio settings. And um, yeah, my microphone was plugged into the wrong thing. So I do apologise. <laughs> I'm actually here now. You can actually hear me. Hopefully. I won't goof up anymore. Hopefully. No, that's not where I wanted to go. Choose the, the the usual way rather than trying to find it. Set course. Go. I was only going to do an hour and a half, but clearly we're not. 
So we might as well just go all the way till 9 o'clock and go read into Dr. Raven, who I believe is playing Stardew this evening. Hello. Hello. You're back. So how did it go? Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado. Never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? You're kidding. Crix's legacy. I always wondered if that damn thing was real. Judging from the fact that this data involves both Crix and legacy, I'd say it's as real as it gets, Ranger Cole. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, we can solve that little mystery in about 10 seconds. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, he never got there. It's imperative that you do. Yes, if the sir. Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. How about you? Yes, sir. So good for this. You need something? Heard you boarded the key. I can't imagine what state the pirates have left it in. Let's go.
probably take up on some of these videos so that I remember what they're for. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go. About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Well, I'll be damned. Someone from the fleet finally agrees with me about something. It's a goddamn miracle. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Mm -hmm. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a Gulf Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? His credentials. So you're hitting the Gulf Bank branch in New Atlantis. Nice score, very lucrative and very dangerous. If you're going after a gold mine like that, I'll want to come along for the ride. Or you're not getting near Dombrowski. I don't see a way around a little quid pro quo. Well, well, it appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. All right, all right. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now, let's talk business. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Looks like we got a party to crash, and I left my tux and tails in my other ship. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship. Security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. 
Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Bowl. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. Oh, you got time for a quick chat? Gala, I'd appreciate it when you're able. They're frozen, not fresh. You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Now that's the right answer there. <laughs> <laughs> Just floating wheel. See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There is a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? There are unfortunates that have little to no choice in anything, and they have my sympathy. But there are so many people that think it's out of reach when it isn't. I think everyone should at least get out once. Go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There is a mess of ugly out there, but my god, there is grandeur too. Space, that great void. That's the stuff for me. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. Makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. Then you are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love the way you listen. Yeah, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. I couldn't ask for better company. Right. Uh, well, I'm going to stop the recording episode, but I'm going to keep streaming for one more.